Hey what's up YouTube, um, today I'm going to be doing a video showing you how to set up your EasyCap or Climax Digital Capture Card for S-Video um, recording. So first I'm just going to be showing you everything you're going to need and then I'll be showing you how to set it all up. And in the description there'll be links of where to buy everything that I tell you about, apart from the laptop. <laughs> right, so first you've got your laptop obviously that you'll need. Um, and you've got your capture card. I'm using the Climax Digital, and it was fifteen pound off of Amazon, and it came with a free installation of Arcsoft Showbiz um, three point five, which you can edit and capture on. But I I want to use Sony Vegas for editing, but I don't have it yet. So you need that. You're gonna need some splitters. Uh, two minimum, unless you're, unless you're not planning to use audio. Um, I'm using two, which means I won't be able to get full audio. I'll be able to get it out the left or the right speakers, depending on what I plug them into. And um, yeah, if you had three, then you'd get it on the left and the right. But I've only got two for now, so you need female to female. So both ends, so all three ends have got to be flat. And I got these off of Amazon for 75p, so it's worth getting three, but I haven't got around to getting the third one yet. So yeah, you'll need three or two of those, preferably three. You're going to need an S-Video cable, which connects to the back of your PS3. And um, it's come around the back here. So yeah, you need one of those. You're going to need two double-ended AV cables. Um, these are double-ended you've got black yellow and red and black yellow and red on both ends um they're not they're the same cable but the white replaces the black on that one but it does the same thing so yeah and yeah you need to i'm gonna get a new one of these because it's very long so yeah once you've got all of those you're ready to go so now i'm going to be showing you how to set it all up okay so first we've got the easy cap that you'll need you're going to need to get the all four of these cables and you're going to need to get one end of your AV cables, any four. And you're going to need to plug in yellow and red on the yellow and red. Or you can plug in the yellow and white or black. And But it just basically depends on what you want, uh, left or right audio. But you need to plug it into the yellow. If you want to have it on... Uh, left audio, then you'll plug the black into the white, not the red into the red. So, yeah, but it doesn't really matter. But if you had all three, then you plug all three in. So, that goes on there, like that. And the red goes into the red. So, yeah, once again, if I had all three splitters, then I'd plug in that black one to the white one. Um, to get full audio. Right, so when that's in, you'll have something that looks like that. And then you want to find the other end of the AV cable that you've just plugged into your easy cap. So that's over there. And you're going to need to put a splitter on the red and the yellow, depending on which ones you've plugged in over there. So you've got your two splitters. The one, the one, the side with the one input goes on. Goes on there. Like that. Once you've got that, you want to get your other AV cable and plug in one end of it into one side of your splitter. So the red one goes onto the red side and the yellow onto the yellow. Like that. And you're going to want to leave this end on its own for now. Okay, so once you've got that, you want to get your S video cable. And basically do the same thing as you just done with that, um, as that with that other AV cable. So red into the red, like that, and the yellow into the yellow. So if you've done that, oops, if you've done that correctly, you'll have every hole on your splitters taken up, and. 
you will have something that looks like this like that okay once you've got that you need to get this the other end of your AV cable that is, that isn't plugged into anything yet and you're going to want to plug this into your TV so get that there's the TV plug in red into red white into white and yellow into yellow so you've got that and once you've got that you're nearly done all you need to do is find your S video cable and get the black piece and plug that into your easy cap black piece and once you've got that you're I'm just going to put the camera down for one second while I get this in because I'm using one hand and it's kind of difficult to get this on. So yeah, I'll be back in one sec. There we go. It's plugged on like that. So now you've got everything connected. Like that. If I had, once again, if I had that other splitter, then that would plug into the wire. And that would go into a splitter. And these two would go on either end then I'd get full audio on my TV but for now just because I have one uh, two I'm gonna get easy cap or cap or climax digital and plug it into any free USB slot on your laptop like that and once that's plugged in to m make sure you've done it right you're gonna need to get onto your PS3 and um, scroll down to, you're going to go settings, scroll down to uh, display settings, then top one video output settings, then you go to the third one down, which is component dash S video. If you've done that right, you're going to go onto your S video channel, AV6, and you'll have this. And you have to do it in under in under 30 seconds, otherwise it'll go back to HDMI. Press yes. Um, for the purpose of this video, because I haven't got Sony Vegas, I'm doing it in 4x3. Otherwise 16x9 looks a bit squashed. So yeah, 14, 4x3 just brings it into... Um, into um, gets the ratio right. So yes. And you don't have to do output settings, just press finish. Then you've got that. The picture on your TV doesn't look as good, but on your laptop it looks very good. So yeah, now that you're on your laptop, you're going to want to go onto your editing software, capturing software, I'm using the showbiz there. Once that's opened up, you're going to go capture. This is only for the showbiz, um, if you're using it on other things then I'm not sure. But. Um, for, the, for now it's just on webcam so the, and I want to change that webcam to USB uh, 2861 device or whatever you're using then it should come up with whatever is on your PS3 screen there it is and if everything's done correctly you should be able to volume turned down. You should be able to get audio out of your laptop. Yep. So if you can hear that, it's all good. And yep. So that's sorted out. You're gonna want to make sure that your audio device is on line to USB audio device, not microphone. Otherwise, it will pick up what else is going on outside of the game and the laptop and yeah you've got all of that so yeah and on device settings you're going to want to make sure if you go onto video image there's a little slider there you need to make sure that is on the top because when you first start using it, it's on the bottom you need to put it to the top like that otherwise you'll get some like, like black and white lines up in the top corner there I don't know why it's just there so yeah, that's pretty much how you set everything up, and um, basically you just press capture to start capturing, press stop to stop, and yeah, that'll capture whatever's on your audio, 
uh, whatever's on your PS3 screen, sorry, and um, everything else. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in, feel free to make a comment and ask me a question, um, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you check out my channel, there are other videos um, which you can use to see what the quality is like. There's one good one where it shows Battlefield 3 trailer. It shows you Black Ops, it shows you Battlefield Bad Company 2, and it shows you some Crisis 2 gameplay. Which is pretty good to get an idea of what the quality is like, which is pretty good. And yeah, so that's everything. Um, uh, rate, subscribe, like the video if it helps. And um, yeah, thanks for watching this UK General 97. Um, thanks for watching.